Steve's owner here with Trapeza Realty. Just a real quick update on the market and the current inventory. Uh, right now we're at 17,737 17, units. This is very similar to last week, uh, just up around 25 uh, units around that. Um, closed, closed units actually down. So we had last week 448, this week we had 276. Uh, the pending with conditions, like I mentioned, this is usually properties that have gone under contract the last seven days. This is exact same number at 249. Um, so, so not too bad. So we're basically trending along that way. Um, the feds are meeting on the 16th and 17th of this month. Anticipation is going to have uh, a rate cut, which is going to obviously spur up the market here in the U.S., which is great. Um, uh, the north is still going quite well. South's a little slowed down because we're built up with inventory, but we're starting to see some more action going forward, even with listings that we've just sold off. Things that we've listed and we, th we thought would never even sell, like we had a condo, for example, uh, North Fort Myers that, that was listed for uh, must have been at least eight nine months. Consist again the condo um, poor guy like some of the, some of these people coming from out of state out of country they hire realtors and they put them into crap and they kind of walk away from it. So it was I kind of had to like clean this mess up. Um, but anyway, they were put into a condo where. Um, it was supposed to be an investment property, which which you're not going to want to get a 55 plus in an investment as an investment property that limits your obviously your intake of tenants. So that's one. Um, then the there was restrictions on how many times a year you can rent this property. It was like once for 90 days, which again really narrows that all down. Um, elder building um, built in like mid 60s, so not great in a floodplain like everything that you want to call wrong with it. Uh, so what we did, obviously, you got to create strategies to get these properties sold. We're not, you know, we have the experience kind of dealing with whatever kind of property we, we need to sell. We just got to basically position it differently to get it sold. So what we did a seller financing, a vendor take back, and um, that's what kind of cured that. So what happens is an out-of-country out of client came in, is going to utilize this uh, loan. Client makes 5% for three years, you know, interest only, like a balloon payment. It's good for him at that point. Either that, you know, they're gonna have to refinance it and just pay him out, and then ultimately he gets his money. If they default, he gets the earnest money now that came in, plus whatever interest gets paid in the next. If there is a default, then he takes the property back. So it's sort of like a win-win. I, I do this on some of our properties up north that I personally own that we can't sell. Um, just give them a, a, a selling loan. Basically, it's fictitious because it's just putting a value on the property on, with the loan. And then ultimately, you're never really exchanging cash. You're just making interest on holding this property uh, a little bit longer, which is it's good in a circumstance like this. But just for example, like that property sold, we're getting showings up in our Bobcat uh, listing. Um, another thing is with our property management company, we've seen like a decline in tenants. It's, it's been uh, it's been sort of like a fight in the last, let's say, three, four months because of the inventory buildup. But now we're starting to see uh, a lot more showings coming out, especially one property we have in uh, Portico uh, where we're starting to see, you know, two, three, four showings on a weekend. It's a matter of just securing a good tenant because we don't want to put in crap, even though, you know, property's been vacant for a bit now. Um, you still don't want to put in something that's going to cause you issues because I could have got this leased signed um, two months ago, but that's not going to help the cause because then you get a defaulted client, then you got to go through the process of eviction and then putting it back on the market and then hopefully the property is not damaged at that time. So we want to definitely eliminate that um, and make sure we get good tenants up front into these properties. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you look at the bond market, the bond market's gone kind of crazy. People, you know, investors are putting money into that. So that's a clear indication that they're banking that, that the, the feds are going to reduce the policy rate. So uh, let's get ready. 16th to 17th of this month, we're going to see a rate cut and then we're going to see a, hopefully an explosion going into the winter months here. But that's it. If you're looking for properties here in Southwest Florida, if you need some information, give us a call. We're, we're happy to take them. We could even book a Zoom conference if you're at a state or at a country, and uh, we can go over what you what you need, what you're looking for. If you are selling a property, you're not in state, we can um, take that off your hands as well. Then also, if you need a property management company, we can do that as well. We're basically going to be doing the four pillars of real estate. We have our building company. We're building uh, spec homes and selling through Treviso Homes, our real estate company, clearly buying, selling investments, property management company, maintaining uh, clients' properties. And then our fourth pillar will 
come very shortly, hopefully by the end of this year into new, into the new year where we're going to start uh, raising capital and then buying raw land, repurpose, rezoning, and then selling that to developers and then taking a profit. Those are going to be longer investments, maybe two to three years um, where your money will be held. But ultimately, they're, they're pretty big payouts as long as the market persists of being a good place to invest. But that's it, guys. Have a great day.